so excited. We are back in the kitchen once more. We haven't been in the kitchen for a while. So I am back in the kitchen with you and I have a very special Bajan recipe for you. But you know, Annie, this is going to be a Bajan recipe with a twist. So today we are going to be looking at pumpkin fritters. And you know, this is the pumpkin month and all set of thing. In Barbados, we really don't celebrate fall and all that. But this is a recipe that my grand did for us all year round. Whenever, you know, she wanted to give us something for breakfast or whatever the case may be, she would give this to us. So for all you Bajans out there, you know that we love a pumpkin I for done it in years. I don't even know why, but I haven't done it in years. Every time I buy the pumpkin to make pumpkin fritters, I do pumpkin soup. So um, I'm going to be showing you how I do my pumpkin soup as well. My daughter have had it for a while, so we'll see if she like it or doesn't like it. And I have my ingredients all laid out here, but you know Annie, Annie always does things with a twist so yes it is a major recipe but it has a little twist to it because i tend to add a little bit more of my things in these ingredients so without any more chit chat i am going to show you my ingredients and then we will get started with this super super simple recipe trust me you will see how simple it is and then you can so make these it are going to be my ingredients this is my pumpkin this is my flour i have um, a half teaspoon i have a half teaspoon of salt i have some baking powder a lot of people don't put baking powder in theirs but i feel for a little bit of the fluffiness so i'm gonna put a little bit of baking powder i have some nutmeg and this is not the nutmeg from the bottle this is the one that i would have grated and that is a teaspoon of nutmeg then i have a teaspoon of the cinnamon then I have some almond flour here that I'm going to be adding to the mixture I told you it was with a twist and then instead of using water I'm going to be using some instead of using water I'm going to be using some coconut milk so and I have a little bit of melted butter here as well. Then I have some sugar, which is a half. I'm not sure how much I would use yet because I would taste my mixture. And this is a half cup. And then I have some essence. And I'm not putting any egg in it. A lot of people, I don't know if people put egg, but you be just making these pumpkin fritters. What the egg does as well is that the egg hold the mixture together a lot better. So people sometimes like to put in egg because it's a holding agent. All right, so we are going to mash our pumpkin. Let's let me mash my pumpkin. Just with the masher here. Then what sometimes what I like to do is to add the dry ingredients together. Like add all of the like you know the nutmeg and the salt and all those things I add together, but I'm not gonna do that today. I am just going to 
I'm just gonna add my flour and I'm just putting in some and then I will put the balance after then this is my nutmeg I love nutmeg this is my cinnamon as you can see I didn't put it all that cinnamon because I like to put in you know according to taste because I eyeball things and then this is a half teaspoon of salt I just added there I'm going to put some of my almond flour this is going to taste so good because I like I just like switching up things I just like experimenting that's how that's how a lot of cooks or a lot of chefs get the recipes by experimenting so we are going to put in a teaspoon of the actually I'm going to put in these are two teaspoonfuls I just can put them in it's looking good already now this is the time if you wanted to you could put an egg or something in it if you feel that might hold together but as I said we are making this together because I have not done this recipe in so long. <laughs> A little bit of my melted. Then I'm going to put a teaspoon of my essence. And I'm going to be putting in some of my sugar I don't want it too sweet so I put some then I taste it then I put some more but if nothing else it looks good and we haven't even put in our coconut milk but it looks good already I'm just going to put in a little bit of the coconut milk. Yep. And now we are going to add the rest of our flour, which was two cups of flour. So we're going to add the rest of our flour. because we don't want it too soft because if it is too soft what happens is that it suck up too much of the the oil and we don't want that so when we are when you're frying this you can use whatever whatever oil you prefer I like to use I use it all depends on what I'm doing but for deep frying I would use something light like sunflower you know grape seed avocado um, then there is this organic <laughs> vegetable oil that I've been trying and that's it family this is basically our recipe and i'm not gonna put any more almond flour in it but let's taste it and see if it has enough sugar wow this tastes so good go put a little bit more sugar although it 
seems as though it has enough I still want a little bit more but that almond flour just give it just turn it up a notch it really turned it up a notch and now these we are going to fry them in they're going to be deep fat fried look see it is coming off the spoon perfect so we're gonna deep fat fry these so just come with me to the okay. stove i think that my oil is nice and warm or nice and hot i should say let's see yeah i tested it <laughs> and it is hot it is hot enough so i just put the stove on medium medium high now we will put our pumpkin fritters to fry and as usual i have my water there so that nothing it doesn't stick to the spoon too much and i'm not dropping them that big you could drop them bigger if you wanted to it all the you know you do what suits you but this super quick recipe we are going to taste it with the almond flour and see what happens see how it tastes so when i finish dropping these and and they're rising from the pan perfectly i love to fry in this pan now because it just fries it just um boils things i it's just great So let's take a look at our point fritters frying. They are frying nicely there. If you can see, they're frying nicely. So I will be right back. I'm going to drop a few and I'll be right back to show you the end result. As I told you, they're not going to be flat like how the older generation used to do it because I really didn't want them like that but you know as I said you can leave out the baking powder it's your choice but I just love them this way they brung it nicely I am going to just turn a few you see they brung it nicely and I just love the way, I just love the way how these pumpkin fritters. What I normally do is I fry as I need it. So I'm going to put the rest in a container and I am going to fry as I need them. But look at these. Don't these look awesome, awesome, awesome. They look as though they're going to taste great too. I'm doing them with some rotis today some bejo rotis so i will be I'm back and i hope that you enjoyed that super super quick recipe it was no trouble at all the most trouble it was is is preparing the stuff you do you just boil the pumpkin first make sure it cools because you can't put it 
with the flower when it is hot because otherwise it will throw off the flower and the baking powder and all that so you can't you have to wait till it's cool so I am all done with these pumpkin fritters and here it is and I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and if you did please give me a like a share and a subscribe because when you press the like button you are gonna know every time I upload another great recipe because I'm gonna be in the kitchen for a little bit and I'll be coming to you with some more recipes so let's taste this it's a little hot but yeah not too too hot but it's hot mm. wow this is good this is good I probably said I haven't made it in a while but this is good look at the inside nice and cooked I find when you put all right let me stop eating we want to talk I just love the texture of these and the taste and family as I always say blessings to you and continue to just spread the love wherever you go and let your light shine so have a great great day and I'll be seeing you next time for another recipe bye bye